If you're looking to get a mortgage, you might have 99 problems, but a credit inquiry ain't one. Hey, it's Craig back with another Mortgage Minute, and I uh, wanted to talk to you today about credit inquiries and, of course, jokingly say you got 99 problems, but a credit inquiry ain't one. H here's what I mean by that. Uh, there's a lot that goes into uh, selecting a home loan, getting pre-approved for a mortgage, and you want to make sure that you're working with a competent professional that can look at your options and tell you what's available. Here's where the credit inquiry comes in. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say, man, I'd love to take get a second opinion about what I'm doing with my home loan, but I'm scared for my credit to be pulled again. And the concern is that a credit inquiry is going to lower your credit score. You've, you've probably heard that too. If you get online, my gosh, people will uh, try to make you think that a credit inquiry is like uh, the, the worst thing you can do for your credit. That is the most overblown concern that people have. So let me give you uh, some information to realize. Credit inquiries make up 10% of what affects your credit score. 10%. It is a very low percentage. Okay. Uh, credit inquiries only impact your score for 12 months after they occur. Um, they're more impactful in the first six months than the second six months. Um, and whenever we access someone's credit report, any inquiries they've had in the previous 30 days has no impact on the score that we get on our credit report. The other thing to realize is the credit bureaus realize that uh, you need an opportunity to, uh, to, you know, to research different options. And so within a short time period, um, multiple mortgage inquiries. So if you talk to a couple of different mortgage companies, inquiries, uh, uh, you know, from those mortgage companies are all looked at as one inquiry. So it impacts your score like one inquiry would do. Now, let me make one disclaimer here. Uh, you might have heard people say that that's a 45 day window. You might have heard people say that's a 15 day window. Guess what? They're both right and they're both wrong when they say that. Uh, there are a lot of different algorithms and they all have different um, timelines associated with them when it comes to credit scoring. Um, so I always tell clients within a short time period, but here's the thing. And I think this is the most important thing to, to keep in mind, regardless of whether it's 45 days, 14 days, you know, none of that really matters because credit inquiries are not the problem. Okay. Uh, the problem that you're going to have, let's talk about some of the problems you would have. Uh, let's say you're talking to a mortgage professional that, for whatever reason, doesn't like to do certain types of loans. There's a lot of lenders that don't like to do first-time homebuyer loans. Okay, so when first-time homebuyers come to those lenders, they're not going to tell them, hey, look, there's a better option for you, but I just don't want to do that. They're going to tell you, you know what, you got to save up a down payment, uh, come back to me in six to 12 months, and then you can potentially look at buying a home. If you don't know any better, you may walk away from that conversation going, well, I guess everybody's going to tell me the same thing and miss a golden opportunity uh, to start down the, the path of home ownership. So here is what I'm saying. Take a look at your options, OK, and don't be scared to get a second opinion because of a credit inquiry. In most instances, a credit inquiry might affect someone's score like two or three points, OK? That is absolutely nothing in the whole grand scheme of things. So if you get online and you read an article from somebody that's like, hey, don't get your credit checked because your credit score is going to plummet. You know what? Immediately stop reading that article because whoever writes that doesn't have the first clue of how credit inquiries impact credit scores. And I, I can tell you, I have reviewed thousands and thousands of credit reports. It's never the inquiry that's the problem. Okay. If you have questions about that, give me a call 615-498-5626. And look, if you're looking to buy a home, call me. I'd love to talk to you about your options.